Good day, participants! I'm now here at Lintown Peak in Bye Bye City, Leyte. And I'm here to teach you Module 4, Lesson 2 on how to make 3D illusion using linear perspective and atmospheric perspective. Every artist always goes out for an on-the-spot drawing or painting. And using the charcoal pencil or graphite pencil are very valuable tools in making quick sketches of very nice landscapes. And here at Lintaon Peak, there are so many subject matters that we can use for our drawing as inspiration. And for this afternoon, I will show you a demonstration on how to draw using the charcoal pencil in order to achieve linear and atmospheric perspective using the beautiful scenery of Lintaon Peak. I have already chosen a nice spot where I can draw my charcoal sketch of the Lintaon Peak and the view of Bye Bye City below. Uh, with me, I brought a sketch pad, my charcoal pencil and eraser. I also brought with me my folding stool so that I can sit comfortably here on top of the hill. So watch me draw the scene here at Lintaon Peak. Okay, the first thing that you will do once you have found a scene is to draw the perspective lines. No? So over the horizon, we can see uh, the latest central cordillera with the city of Bye Bye below, uh, the hills of Lintaon Peak in the foreground, the trees and the bushes uh, close to me. So what I will do is I'll first try to establish my horizon. So I'm going to establish my own horizon, which is the spot where the Leyte Central Cordilleras is passing through. And then I'll try to establish the angle of the Bye Bye City Bay below. And then the curve out of the hills in the foreground. Okay. So you don't have to be very detailed yet. Uh, it can be very rough uh, as long as you will be able to capture the lines in front of you. So this is a very foggy and windy day. Um, there is some sort of haze over the horizon and we can see that uh, the mountain range it's not very sharp compared to a clear day so this is now my uh, linear sketch of the landscape the next step is to establish uh, some of the elements that I will include in my sketch so I will be drawing this small tree beside this spot where I'm sitting from Okay, this is what they call as a doom on tree. This is some sort of a sour kind of fruit, no? So the the fruit of the doom on is sour and I think uh, some species of birds love to eat the fruits of this tree okay so if you noticed i immediately included the details of the tree's foliage okay this is to establish my foreground so you have to remember when you make sketches of landscapes um, objects close to you tend to be more detailed than those in the background okay this is my foreground and uh, objects closer to you tend to be more darker in terms of tone compared to the things in the background. So objects in the foreground of a landscape tend to be, to be more darker and more detailed. It's because we are trying to create the illusion that it's closer to the viewer. 
Okay, next I'll try to include uh, some of the contours in the background. So over here are actually hills with clumps of trees. But you don't have to be very detailed on them. So you can just express the clump of trees in a few, tech, in a few strokes and tones. Okay, so if you do a charcoal sketch, you're not expected to linger very long in the, in the location, especially if uh, you, you don't have enough time to, to really sketch. You don't have the luxury of time to really sketch very long. So just impressions. So for example, these lines can just be impressions of the coconut trees. So the most important thing is to re you have to remember that uh, a charcoal sketch is just an initial rendition of a final drawing that you will be making in your studio. It's not the final output that you're expected to make. Okay? So the, the palm trees can just be expressed through a series of impressionistic lines so the the thing that you have or the skill that you have to develop is to really work fast you know? learn how to work fast okay just like today it's so windy and it's quite sunny and hot okay unless you brought with you your your umbrella or shade then you can stay longer in one spot but usually when I do my sketch uh, I try to soak into the scene try to internalize and visualize the scene uh, and just a reminder since you don't have enough time to be staying in the location you have to take photos of your scenery okay I'm trying to draw now the area where uh, bye bye city is found okay this is the the coast and the city is found here so I'll just draw little impressions of uh, the buildings so this is now the mountain range of the Leyte Central Cordillera so it's just a flat background a flat dark background but this will give me a guide already if I'm going to convert this drawing into a painting this will give me a, an idea of how the real scene looks like in life and I can compare it with my with my photograph no? so you don't have to really capture all the detail so the background is quite light compared to the foreground's shadows here. So the shadows here are created by the ridges in between the hills. So the value of a charcoal sketch is it lets you think about values and texture and layers and how you have to interpret them into a simple impression. So this is some sort of an impressionist, impressionistic uh, sketch. Okay. So I'm now trying to finalize my sketch before I'll call it a day okay so this is my sketch now of uh, the view from Linta on Peak and uh, this is a view uh, overlooking uh, the city of Bai Bai over the coastline okay so I hope that you've learned a lot from today's uh, demonstration of, of how to do uh, 3D illusion using aerial and linear perspective using charcoal pencil. So uh, in our next lesson, I'll be 
drawing some sceneries here in Lintaon Peak but using a different medium which is the oil pastel and the poster color. That's all for today. Thank you and please don't forget to share your drawings and output of your own impressions using the charcoal pencil. So don't forget to post your drawings on our FB group at by using our hashtag SOA Visual Arts. I'm now ready to, for your questions.